Hi all. Uh, in this video, uh, we can try to solve a problem to calculate the radius of a circular orbit. Okay, let us look into the problem. Uh, in this, we have to calculate the radius of a circular orbit for which the period is one day. Okay, for uh, solving this, uh, we can go through the Kepler's third law. According to Kepler's third law, yesterday uh, we have discussed the Kepler's third law. That is, according to this law, uh, when we consider two planets, okay, or two bodies, that is, uh, they are separated or they are situated at a distance r1 and r2, and both having a period of a rotational period or revolutionary period of t1 and t2 okay and by kepler's third law we can write the ratio of the squares of the time period that is t1 square by t2 square equal to will be equal to the ratio of the cubes of the distance or the semi major axis separation between the planet and the sun that is r1 cube by r2 cube and from this equation we can write uh, t1 square by t2 so that is t square is proportional to r cube uh, so we can write t q t square by r cube equal to a Kepler's constant. That is, uh, in this uh, Kepler's third law, we can write a cube. Uh, here the r is replaced by the term a. That is a cube equal to a constant mu by n square. Where mu is calculated in satellite <coughs> communication, mu is calculated as 3 into 10 raised to 8 into 10 raised to 14. Okay. And... Uh, uh, from that equation the period can be derived as 2 pi by n this equation can be utilized to solve this problem that is uh, one day we have to calculate the radius of circular orbit remember here the orbit is circular and uh, the period is one day one day means 24 hours 24 hour into 60 into 60 that means uh, 86400 seconds okay we can write one day one day equal to uh, 86400 seconds so we can write p equal to 86400 okay so by using the equation uh, p is equal to 2 pi by n from this we can calculate n equal to 2 pi by p that is uh, here p equal to 86400 from that we can get 7.272 into 10 raised to minus 5 radians per here radian per second period time period is given in uh, seconds okay 7.272 10 into 10 raised to minus 5 radians per second and from Kepler's third law we can write a equal to that is here a cube equal to mu by n square and mu is equal to 3 into 10, 9 raised to sorry 3.98 into 10 raised to 14 meter cube per second square by using this values we can substitute in this equation a equal to cube root that is raised to 1 by 3 3 into 9 sorry 3.98 uh, by 7.272 into 10 raised to minus 5 square and taking this cube root we can uh, get 42,000 to 41 kilometer okay that's all about the problem okay thank you